Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will demonstrate how to apply conditions to columns and the data that exists in those columns in backendless views. Using conditions, you can create filters and narrow down the results that appear in views. And you will see that this is a, a very powerful feature. To start, I will uh, go over what I have right now in my view. It consists of three columns. As you can see, there is a name of a person, and that person has a relationship to a table called organizations. In fact, organizations uh, actually has a column members that points the person, but using views, we can retrieve uh, an organization that a person belongs to. And I also have another column, which is called hobbies count that displays the number of hobbies that a person has. And then the hobbies count is calculated using an aggregate function count that applies to the hobbies that is retrieved through uh, the relationship between person and the hobbies table. So let's talk about conditions. Uh, a condition is really just a, a filter. It's going to be a where clause, uh, a query that you can apply to every single column that exists in your view. Uh, to start, I'm going to add another column from the uh, person table that is called age right here and this displays the age of the person and let's create a very uh, simple condition where we will limit uh, on to show only the records where the age is within certain range to apply condition you move the mouse over to get all these icons and the same thing happens for all columns and the icon that represents the condition looks like this little cone uh, it's a funnel and uh, when you click on it uh, pop-up is displayed where you can configure a condition for this column in this case the column is h so what we want to do is we want to say that uh, we will display and retrieve only the records where the age is let's say greater than how about 30 and uh, it is less or equal for instance 75 click save and now we have only the records that match the specified condition and and by the way you can continue adding uh, your conditions and group them with and or or uh, logical connectors and as you can see since we have numeric data in the age column uh, the conditions that are displayed are applicable to the numeric data so let's click save and that's what we have now how about we add another condition to the column called organization and in here what we will do is we will say display well it's not really display when i say display it's not quite right it is actually the instruction to the server what data to return so we will say server how about uh, return only records where the organization contains word united or it ends with the word America. Click Save. So there you go. So now we have only two records that match this uh, condition. But you might be asking, well, since we have a condition that applies to the organization name, and we have a condition that applies to age, how do these two conditions play uh, with each other are they concatenated with and or or well for this and by the way you could have more than two columns with conditions in fact every single column may have its own condition and there is a very powerful way to control these conditions whenever you have two or more columns with their own conditions you can group these conditions using this icon and here it says configure conditional column grouping when you click on this, it recognizes that you have a condition for the organization name and you have a condition for age. And then it gives you an option to select and or or. By the way, notice that there is little placeholders here. And uh, at this point, they do not make a lot of sense uh, because there are only two parts of the or operator, left side and right side. But whenever you have more than two, then you can actually drag and drop these braces and put them in here to control how this condition needs to be evaluated. But whenever you have two, it is not required to do so. Click Save. And what happened, 
now is that the condition for the organization is applied or the condition for age is applied. So what we have is basically the union of the two group through or operator. If we change it to and, as you can see, the data is updated automatically. So you can still preview the effect of this and or or. Okay, very powerful stuff. There is one more thing that you can do, and that is the master view condition. And the master view condition is something that is applicable on top of all other conditions. So for instance, if we want to fetch all the data that was created after a certain date, then this would be done in the master view condition. And then the master view condition applies, as it says here, to the entire view, but it starts from the root table. And if you're watching this video in the playlist that is dedicated to views, in the very first one, I talk about what the root table is. And the root table is the one where you select the very first column. In our case, it's going to be the person table. So what can, what is this master view condition? Well, here, if we say create it after, and we put, let's say, 03-01-2021. So we want to get all the records that were created after March 1st. You can validate it, and it says the condition is valid. Click Save, and now there are multiple conditions, including the master one. Now, all these records were created, I believe, on March 9th. So this condition is definitely going to be returning everything. But if I put, let's say, 0310, click Save. Well, this one was actually created after that date. So as you can see, this master view condition is working as it should. And, and in here, in the master view condition, it could be a complex where clause that touches multiple columns in the entire scope of your view. Click Save. And then if you go back to Data Browser, now we get the data that matches all those conditions that you have configured in your view. This may sound like a lot because it is, but uh, the thing that you need to remember is that every single column may have its own condition. You can group those conditions between uh, each other using the conditional grouping, conditional column grouping, and on top of it, you can create your master view condition. This will create very complex queries. And then here I have a fairly simple uh, database schema, but it may still already get quite complicated in terms of the kind of things that I can do to retrieve data exactly as I need it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. And as always, happy Cutlass coding.